In Creo Parametric 6.0, you can now create trajectory curves for helical sweeps and volume helical sweeps. Let's take a look at that. First, I will go to the sweep drop down menu to create a volume helical sweep. And when we get into the command, you'll notice over on the right hand side of the dashboard, we have this information that gives us guidance in order to create the feature. And you can click on the read more hyperlink in order to get help on this particular command. And also you'll notice that we have two rows of icons and the icons include text telling you what the different buttons mean so you no longer have to remember or hover your mouse over them to get the tooltip. And on the left hand side, we have this nice little symbol for the feature. I don't know if that was in Creo Parametric 5.0, but I am just noticing it now. And the references tab is in red meaning that I need to define my Helix profile. Let me turn on my datum plane visibility and I am going to define my sketch on front. That's good. Rather than moving my mouse overall to, over to the right hand side of the screen, I can middle mouse button to get into sketch mode and let's go to our sketch view. All right. For my helix profile, first I am going to throw in a center line through the middle of the part, and then I can use my right mouse button to sketch a line, and I like to go beyond the borders of the part to make sure that it fully intersects, and let's create a dimension from here to here. Middle mouse click to locate the dimension, and let's repeat the process here to here, and then middle mouse click to locate the dimension, change the value, and last dimension to change. Let me hit the middle mouse button to get out of dimension creation mode. Now I can double click on the dimension and change its value. That's good. I can hit the check mark, or you can hold down the right mouse button in order to get to the check mark from the menu. At this point, I like to turn on the helix and orientation display. There we can see the pitch. You can double click the value to change it and then say, you know what? I want more than that. There we have a value of five. Now, when I take a look at the dashboard, the section tab is in red, meaning that I need to define the revolved section of the 3D object. You can select a section if it already exists, or you can sketch a new one. So let's choose to create edit section. And for this one, I'm going to create a rectangle. Let's just sketch it out over here. And let's give this a value of three. And I'm gonna change this to a value of 0.5. That's good. Again, we can use the right mouse button to get to the menu to choose to save the section and exit. And we see a preview of the feature. At this point, I like to turn on the display of the 3D object. And you can go to the adjustments tab and you can say, hey, you know what? Let's try tilting this five degrees or maybe 10 degrees. Yep, I like the way that that looks. Now, what's new in Creo Parametric 6.0 is if you go to the References tab, you have this option here to create a helical trajectory curve. And when I click the check mark to complete out of the feature, there we see both my volume helical sweep, that is removing material, and I have this curve. And I could use this curve later on in order to define my manufacturing processes. And I might want to select the curve and then use a little copy and paste in order to create it as its own individual feature I can access in the model tree. So that's how you do it for a volume helical sweep. I'm gonna use this same part. So let's suppress the features and go to the sweep drop-down menu. I'm going to create a helical sweep. And again, you'll notice the way that the dashboard looks in Creo Parametric 6.0. You have the little information on the right-hand side of the screen. We have the two rows of icons and we have the symbol for the feature that you are creating. And let's go to the References tab. So I need my Helix profile. 
let's click the define button and let me try to use previous oops wrong one let's cancel out of there let's define go to my datum plane display let's sketch on the datum plane called front hit the sketch button let's go to the sketch view and for this one let's throw in our center line and let's go to the right mouse button in order to let's see let's add the references for here I am going to sketch a line Again, I like to make sure that fully intersects the part and let's create a dimension from side over here just like I did before change that to a value of 2 and from here to here value of 2 again and I am done let me hold down the right mouse button and choose the check mark to exit out all right, so I have uh, this being created. I want this to remove material. If I hold down the right mouse button, you'll notice again in Creo Parametric 6.0, we have many toolbars in here for accessing different commands. So let me choose to create my feature as a cut to remove material. Here we have the sketch button to edit the profile. And for this one, Let's create a circle, change the diameter, and to get out of sketch mode, again, I can right click and hit the check mark. So there we see a preview of the feature. Let's change the pitch value in here to get more uh, loops in the model. And again, the addition in Creo Parametric 6.0, if you go to the references tab, you can choose to create a helical trajectory curve. Let me hit the check mark to complete the feature. Let me turn off my datum plane display. And again, I like to select the feature and then copy and paste so I can access the curve in the model tree as well. And what I like about this is that I do a lot of mechanisms work and I can take this curve and use it for defining a slot follower connection in an assembly. So that's a nice addition to Creo Parametric 6.0. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.